Dos Public Portal gives you a dose of knowledge and weather update 24-7. Hydrometeorological hazard is a phenomenon of atmospheric, hydrological, or oceanographic nature that may cause loss of lives, injury, property damage, loss of livelihood, social disruption, and environmental damage. What makes the Philippines prone to hydrometeorological phenomena? Philippines has suffered from an exhaustible number of deadly typhoons and other natural disasters. This is due to its location along the Ring of Fire or Typhoon Belt, a large Pacific Ocean region where many of its volcanic eruptions and earthquakes occur. According to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center or GTWC, 19 typhoons enter the Philippine region and 6 to 9 make landfall. In fact, it is the most exposed country to tropical region in the world. I'm Maria Lustina and Parinder with DPP Correspondent. What is Typhoon? A Typhoon, also known as Baguio, is an intense area of low atmospheric pressure, wherein the air rotates around the center of an area of low pressure in an anti-clockwise direction. I am Jonas Magadja, your DPP correspondent. What government agency is responsible in monitoring all Typhoons inside the Philippine area of responsibility? Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration Pag-asa was created on December 8, 1972 by virtue of Presidential Decree No. 78. It was dedicated to provide flood and typhoon warnings, public weather forecasts, and advisories and other specialized information and services primarily for the protection of life and property and in support of economic productivity and sustainable development. Cyclone Classification According to Pag-asa Cyclone classification are expected to carry the following wind speed Tropical Depression, 61 km per hour Tropical Storm, 62 to 88 km per hour Civil Tropical Storm, 89 to 117 km per hour Typhoon, 118 to 220 km per hour Super Typhoon, at least 220 km per hour. I am Maclean Naruto, your GPP correspondent. Public Storm Warning Signal As I said, the following wind velocities are expected in the following storm signals. Signal number 1, 30 to 60 km per hour in the next 36 hours with no damage to very light damage. Classes in preschool level in all public and private schools will be automatically suspended. Signal number 2. 61 to 120 km per hour within 24 hours with light to moderate damage classes in preschool, elementary, and high school in all public and private schools will be automatically suspended. Signal number 3. 121 to 170 km per hour within 18 hours moderate to heavy damage. Classes in all levels are automatically suspended. Signal number 4, 171 to 220 km per hour within 12 hours with heavy to very heavy damage. All travel and outdoor activities are cancelled. Signal number 5, 220 km per hour or more within 12 hours with very heavy to widespread damage, all travel and outdoor activities are cancelled. Hazards associated with Typhoon 
strong winds. Heavy rainfall. Inland flooding. Health diseases such as leptospirosis. I am Josephine Veges, your DPP correspondent. Deadliest and most destructive typhoons to hit the Philippines. Super Typhoon Juan. International name, Typhoon Meiji. Date of occurrence, October 18, 2010. Maximum wind speed, 295 km per hour. Casualties, 69 death for missing. Damage, 700 million US dollars. Affected areas, Northern Luzon, particularly Cagayan Valley. Typhoon Pepe, international name, Typhoon Parma, date of occurrence, October 3, 2009, maximum wind speed, 250 km per hour, casualties, 500 dead, many people injured, damage, 600 million US dollars, affected areas, Luzon Archipelago, Tropical Storm Ondoy, international name Typhoon Ketsana, date of appearance September 25, 2009, maximum wind speed 165 km per hour, casualties almost 700 dead, damage 1 billion US dollar, affected areas Metro Manila, Central and Southern Luzon. Typhoon Pablo, international name Typhoon Bofa, date of occurrence December 4, 2012, maximum wind speed 285 km per hour, casualties 1,146 death, 834 missing, damage 1 billion US dollars, affected area northern Mindanao. <laughs> Typhoon Frog, international name Typhoon Pengshen, date of occurrence June 20, 2008, maximum wind speed 205 km per hour, casualties more than 1,300 dead and 80 missing, damage 480 million US dollar, affected areas STEM Visayas. Typhoon Reming, international name, Typhoon Durian, date of appearance, November 30, 2006, maximum wind speed, 250 km per hour, casualties, more than 1,500 dead, many injured, damage, 500 million US dollar, affected areas, Bicol region. Super Typhoon Yolanda, international name Typhoon Haiyan, 
date of occurrence November 8, 2013. Maximum wind speed 315 km per hour. Casualties more than 6,000 dead, 1,000 missing. Damage 2.86 billion US dollars. Affected areas Eastern Visayas. Storm surge. Storm surge is an abnormal rise of water generated by a storm wind. Storm surge can reach heights well over 20 feet and can span hundreds of miles of coastline. It is also a hazard associated with typhoon. On November 8, 2013, Super Typhoon Yolanda made landfall in the central Philippine island. Storm surge were recorded in the island of Leyte and Sama. But as a measured, 5 to 6 meter waves primarily responsible for the 6,190 dead, 1,785 missing, and 28,626 injured. That's cool, about What is a monsoon? A seasonal shift in the prevailing wind direction that usually brings with it a different kind of weather. It is subdivided into two types, namely the Northeast Monsoon and Southwest Monsoon. The Northeast Monsoon or Hanging Amihan features cool and dry air that originates in a vast anticyclone, a weather system with a high barometric pressure, which forms over Siberia, Mongolia, and Northern China during each northern winter. It causes cloud development and rainfall at the eastern sections of the country. It normally occurs during the months of November to February each year. The Southwest Monsoon, or Hanging Habagat. It is the seasonal winds blowing from the southwest direction. It causes extensive cloud development and rainfall at the western sections of the country. Habagat occurs during the months of June to October each year. Hazards associated with monsoon. Heavy rainfall and thunderstorm. Inland flooding. I am Jonas Magadja, your DPP correspondent. As a scholar to the drink from warning system. Yellow warning, 7.5 to 15 mm heavy rain observed in one hour and expected to continue in the next two hours. Flooding is possible. Monitoring of the weather condition advised. Orange warning, 15 to 30 mm intense rain observed in one hour and expected to continue in the next two hours. Flooding is threatening. Alert for responsible evacuation is advised. Red warning. More than 30 mm torrential rain observed in one hour and expected to continue in the next two hours. Serious flooding expected in low-lying areas. Evacuation is advised. I'm Maria Mustina M. Parinder, DBP Correspondent.
What are tornadoes? Tornado is a mobile destructive vortex of violently rotating winds having the appearance of a funnel-shaped cloud and advancing beneath a large storm system. Tornadoes seldom happen in the Philippines. There have been several instances they formed, and it was fortunate there was no severe damage or loss of life. The latest time that a tornado struck Manila was on August 14, 2016. More than 200 houses were damaged and two people were injured. The tornado form start at the time of 4.25 p.m. in the Baseco Tondo compound, affecting the cities of Manila and Quezon City. This was only the second time in their recorded history. Dos Public Portal, now signing off.